Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. Now today I am demoing arguably the weirdest guitar I've ever come across. This is the Electroglide by Bond. Now, lots going on here. Lots of buttons, lots of knobs. Uh, essentially, what we got here? We've got volume control. As you can tell, easy to work. Comes upon a nice digital display. Uh, we've got tones. We've got a lot of buttons going on here. We've got, we can switch between pickups. We've got neck pickup, middle, bridge, combination of both. We've got a phase button. No idea what this button does. You know what that does? Is that doing anything? Still not? It's not doing anything. I think it's broke. So the company was set up by a former bus driver in Poole in Dorset in England uh, by Andrew Bond and he actually only made 1200 of these before shutting down the shop in 1986. Although these guitars were only around for a short period of time, they were actually used by a lot of big names. Uh, we've got Mick Jones, uh, we've got Echo and the Bunnyman, we've got the Rhythmix. Actually The Edge used this a lot on the Joshua Tree, uh, which I didn't know and to be honest I thought it was a joke. As you can tell, it's a carbon fiber body. Uh, the neck, initially from a distance, I thought it was fretless. Um, to be honest, I still think it doesn't know what it wants to be fretless or non-fretted. You'll know when you give it a try. Uh, very smooth uh, going up the neck. So definitely a unique guitar, great sound and pickups. Uh, it's wacky, it's fun. So make sure you come and check it out. Hopefully by then we might know what this button does.